Now that you have reviewed the design brief and listened to the designer videos, I'm going to give you an overview of designing the project in Autodesk Inventor so that you can make your own pooch cooler design. Based on the concept sketches, I modeled the parts and created the assemblies. Let's look at an animation of the final model. We start with the solar panel, which collects the energy, which is then transferred down into the control system box, where a deep cycle battery stores that energy. There are also controls for on-off and temperature. Below the ground we can see the heat transfer. Water is pumped around the system and the water is cooled by the fact that it's below ground. The water is then sent to the cooler pad. Now let's look at Autodesk Inventor. Inside Inventor I have a number of parts which are put together into sub-assemblies and then the complete assembly. Let's look at a view without the ground. Here are the major parts, the solar panel, control system box, and the heat transfer system. Starting with the solar panel assembly, I actually used the sheet metal to create this. You could use a simpler extrusion to do that. And there's a bitmap image of a solar panel. The control panel box is a series of extruded shapes put together in an assembly. Here we see that box containing the deep cycle battery and the controls. The pump box contains the pump that circulates the water through the system. Let's go back to the assembly and have a look at that. Here we see the pump box and all the pipes connecting into it. Turning off the visibility of the box, we can see the pump. Let's just turn that around so we can see the pump a little bit better. And this is part of that new line of sustainable pooch cooler products that we're bringing out. So I've supplied this model of the pump for you. In addition to creating models, of course, we want to create drawings of the parts. So let's go and have a look at the IDW file. In the IDW file, I've attached balloons and created a parts list. Here we can see all the items in the parts list. When I'm creating drawings, I like to put all of the information in one IDW or drawing file. So here you can see the information about the solar panel, the flat layout, of that panel and all the information that's required to make it. The control system box. Now let's go back to the assembly. In the videos that follow I will show you how to model and create these parts in Autodesk Inventor.